Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome back to another episode of my farming series where I share the many strategies for farming golden elixir fast because I know many of you guys have been struggling to make loot quickly in the current metagame. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to farm without heroes. Now this here is my Town Hall 11 main account, but even though I have stronger offense in this account, I'm going to instead show you guys how to farm on my Town Hall 9 mini account because farming at Town Hall 11 is just a much different environment. So if you're a Town Hall 11 player, then uh, you should instead watch my Journey to Max Town Hall 11 videos where I cover Town Hall 11 farming there. And I get a lot of questions whether this type of strategy also works for Town Hall 10s or Town Hall 8s. Yes, it works for all Town Hall levels, but if you're a Town Hall 10 player, then you should avoid attacking most Town Hall 10 bases with multi-targeting Infernal Towers. And if you're a Town Hall 9 player, then you should avoid almost all Town Hall 10 bases with multi infernos, unless if it's a really poorly rushed Town Hall 10 base. And if you're a Town Hall 8 player, then you should avoid most Town Hall 9 bases, unless if they're also poorly rushed. So the army composition that we're going to be using when we don't have heroes to farm with is Hog Bars, with the Hog Riders, Barbarians, Archers, and Wall Breakers. You want to cook a total of 8 Wall Breakers, so uh, balance them out in all four of your barracks with two wall breakers each and then on two barracks cook all barbarians and for the other two barracks fill it with all archers and uh, you should have a little more barbarians than archers but this is a good thing because you're going to need a lot of barbarians because we're going to be doing a lot of storage raids and also co collector raids as well and for your dark troops cook hog riders you're going to need a total of 12 hog riders to so cook six each on each dark barrack and for spells, just cook heal spells and also carry a poison for safety. Now, this composition is not very friendly in terms of farming dark elixir, but it's excellent for farming golden elixir when you don't have heroes. Okay, first I want to share this replay where I found a lot of resource, almost a million in total resource. So this was a very lucky find. You're not always going to find these types of bases. and. Uh, and also remember that the Town Hall now accounts for two storages. It's equivalent to one gold storage, one elixir storage, and the one fourth dark elixir storage. So it's really difficult to get all the storages because now you have like 10 different storages, eight golden elixir storages, plus the Town Hall. So it's gonna be very difficult to get all the storages with an attack like this, especially when you don't have heroes. So I suggest going for at least five storages. Try to get at least five storages. Uh, and try to aim for at least 150,000 gold and 150,000 elixir every raid. And uh, you are going to make a lot of resource with this composition because it's, it trains very quickly. It's faster than barge because you're utilizing hog riders and hog riders, they train very quickly. It takes two minutes to train one hog rider which uh, takes up five housing space. So it's actually faster than archers. Five archers uh, takes 25 seconds so 25 times five is 125 so that's two minutes and five seconds so five archers take longer to train than one hog rider so you're, you're gonna be able to train this army very quickly do a lot of raids and make a lot of resource quick wow just found a crazy amount of resource here over 1.1 million in total resource and it's uh in, in the inside the collectors and inside the storages so let's see we're gonna first attack these collectors here Go for that cannon, remove the cannon first, and then we can get all three of these uh, collectors on this side. And then here, can we avoid that archer tower? Yup, we can. So we're gonna take that uh, gold collector with one archer. Same here with one archer. And let's remove this builder hut. And we're also gonna need to create space anyway, so we're gonna remove that cannon and go for that collector here. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna spread our barbarians here, go for the town hall and use wall breakers here, open up those walls and then open up the second layer here and also use a heal spell right here to keep my wall breakers going and also for uh, the hog riders to get healed back up here. So the Hog Riders are going to remove that Splash Defense, the Wizard Tower, and also the Mortar here. And uh, now my Barbarians and Archers 
can freely go inside. Let's use another heal spell right here to replenish our hog riders and also our barbarians over here. So it's looking very good. Hog riders should go for the wizard tower and the mortar here. Uh, the queen is going to be a big threat here. Uh, archers have made it to the core with the barbarians, so this is looking very good. And I'm, I should be able to get a lot of resource. And uh, archers here are taking out that gold gold mine. I have an archer, two of them here, going for the storage and the gold collector. But this is going perfect. Uh, got almost all the resource, around a million in total, so that's amazing. Okay, there's a lot of resource inside this Town Hall 9 base. We're going to attack from the bottom right side. Because as you can see, there are empty spaces right here. Empty 2x2 two two tile spaces here, here. So we're going to avoid those empty spaces as they could be hiding giant bombs. And if we attack from the right side, as you can see, there are a bunch of clumped up storages right here. So we can get around 3 gold storage. Elixir storage and a town hall which accounts for two uh, storages so let's see we're gonna first start by testing the clan castle nothing inside perfect and now we're gonna send out barbarians on the sides as you can see side structures first and then uh, send out more barbarians at the center now so send out groups of wall breakers and then we're, all, we're also gonna send out two groups of hog riders here open up that wall and we're gonna place a heal spell right here to heal all our Barbarians, archers, so now this is looking very good. Uh, our hog riders are gonna make their way inside and we may need to use another heal spell right here to keep our uh, barbarians and archers replenished here as they go for the storages inside. Okay, so it's looking good. Our hog riders have taken out the uh, defenses in the core. So it's looking very good actually. So we're gonna get the town hall now and uh, unfortunately, since our archers took out the town hall and the core, our troops decided to go uh, south rather than inside the core. Uh, but that's fine, we still got what we wanted and we got a lot of resource. So let's end it there. And that's gonna get us around 380,000 in total resource, which is pretty good because we're doing this without heroes. Okay, not nice, lots of resource inside collectors on the outside. And this is why I really like this composition is that it's very versatile. You can use it to attack both collectors on the outside and you can also use it to attack storages inside bases. So this way you search less and have more targets. So we're gonna use our barbarians here, remove this town hall out of the way so that we can go for the gold mine there. And also remember town halls do carry uh, some resource in them if the storages carry any resource. So here we're gonna, we're gonna then go for the gold mine right there in the inside. So let's, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out two hog riders and we're gonna also send out some archers as the hog riders uh, distract that wizard tower as you can see. So come on archers. Okay, that's good enough there. Uh, we activated his clan castle troops but we managed to get almost all the resource inside collectors and except that one gold mine right there uh, so let's see can we avoid that archer tower yes we can avoid it with an archer so let's quickly remove that factory before those archers get in the way Okay, nice, a Town Hall 8 base with lots of resource inside the storages. So remember, the main threat to this composition, to your Barbarians and Archers, are splash defenses, like the Wizard Towers and Mortars. So what we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to remove the, those threats and avoid them as much as possible. So here, let's see, can we avoid that Archer Tower range with an Archer? No, we cannot. Let's wait for that Mortar. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And then what we're gonna do is, this time we're gonna send out our hog riders, spread them around, and we're gonna send them out first because of that wizard tower threat. And then we're gonna also send out 
uh, wall breakers and we're gonna place a heal spell towards the direction our hog riders are going so over there and now we're gonna send out a bunch of wall breakers so that we can have them break open towards the core and have our barbarians and archers sent out from behind from the south here so here as you can see those hog riders are going they're gonna remove all those splash defenses so that's perfect and uh, now since the hog riders have removed all the defensive threats our barbarians and archers here can easily feast on all of these storages at the core and now we're gonna use a heal spell right uh, there to replenish our barbarians so that wizard tower doesn't take them out okay great wish that my uh, archers and barbarians went for this side though I'm uh, missing those storages but look at that our hog, hog riders have made it all the way around uh, so this is one of the reasons why this composition is so great against almost any town hall 8 base this was a max defense town hall 8 base and uh, I basically three starred it without any heroes without barbarian king or archer queen and only 12 hog riders so this is a very efficient quick to train army and it's very potent it's very powerful can three star any town hall 8 base so a total of 500,000 in total resource awesome okay that will be all for this episode but i'm gonna have more videos soon to show you guys even more great attack strategies for farming resources very quickly so make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this and also subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys again soon later